So, I okay, so there was a little gay reference there. Thor looked in the eyes of uh, Peter, whatever his name is. Um, <laughs> so there was there was a little uh, homoerotic scene there where he got lost. They got lost in one another's eyes, apparently. Um, and so Twitter went crazy over that. Um, woke up to the news about Thor. So glad to see it's gay. I hope. Piss Pratt had the worst effing time of his entire life. I've never watched a single Marvel movie, but I'll be watching Thor Love and Thunder solely because I want to see Chris Pratt visibly hold back slurs while, uh, whatever. Taika Watiti. Oh, yeah. Indeed. Puts him in the gayest shit ever in HD. <laughs> when I found out Chris Pratt was Republican and homophobic, I cried. But years later, fast forward, and now I'm so happy that Star Lord has to be subtly gay with Thor. People really are interesting aren't they yeah. they, they got a problem <laughs> they like th th their vision of chris pratt is bizarre um yeah. but no that's what happens when you're in that this is why we need to completely detach from hollywood because they're yeah. spiteful uh, for a lot of people don't know that they made recently and keep in mind this is after he had played star lord they made star lord bisexual in yeah. the comic books right if you don't think that's out of spite right for him of course you're out of your mind that's exactly what it is like yeah. they he's he is, he, well, they think that he is so far like the, I guess, the antithesis of what it is that they believe you should be if you're going to be a part of them. Again, see what happened. It'll probably end up happening to him, but see what happened like to Gina Carano as well, mm. same company in Disney. It's the same with like they don't think that you should be above their ranks and they're so spiteful that they do things specifically out of, of spite. It's not about story. It's not about these characters. It's not about the customer. It's about spite. This yeah. is why they are doing what it is that they're doing. And this is why I, I just think you know we should defund this crappy company i think there's a new uh like a fin finale for the jurassic park thing coming out too yeah. with everybody that's ever been in a jurassic park movie except the old man who's dead uh i don't know maybe he'll be gay in that too i don't know um i want to see some gay lizards man i want to see dino gay love and thunder um <laughs> Rogan defended him, though. Um, this was last December. He said, what is this bully pile on? You see someone being vulnerable, and you could snipe at them, and you don't have any repercussions. That They're not in front of you, so you attack the guy. Um, I, yeah. But, I mean, it, it, people are filled with hate. I mean, there's no doubt about it, it that kind of stuff. It's just like what – I don't know the guy, the, the guy that does the news on Saturday Night Live. We played that clip uh, earlier this week where they was talking about Elon Musk buying Twitter, and he said – for that much money, it just shows you how bad a white dude wants to say the N word on yeah, Twitter. They, they have they have a meme like when they can't meme. So they're <laughs> how they like see the world is through this lens that is just fake, right? So yeah. they have this view of not just the Elons of the world or the Chris Pratt's, the guys that are like in their sector of popularity, but also like guys like us and they who they need us to be in order for their nonsensical arguments to be valid. Chris, you tell me that Eric did an eight second YouTube. <laughs> in response to that in the Thor thing? Yeah, I would like to What'd officially you welcome uh, Eric. The only reason why he's here on the today on, on Wednesday <laughs> is because his take on this trailer was phenomenal. <laughs> Eight seconds, go. Would you go you playing or is he saying it? He's saying it. What'd you say? <laughs> say Not <it> interested. <laughs> And you can go see that if you want to check it out. But that, those are my views. Not interested. <laughs> Not interested. Not interested. And honestly, guys, I feel like on a serious note, other people shouldn't be. They're not making these movies with you. You've already seen this store searching for himself, trying to find out who he, we've already seen that. Yeah, he's not fat anymore, yeah, we, like the last movie. We, yeah, we've already seen that. They got this, what they call a King Valkyrie, right? Black King Valkyrie makes no sense. There's no semblance of like who Thor is and in in, in like how their, their approach is to these, to these movies.